voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. Hey, this is She Said, a space where women talk about stuff. And I'm your host, Cameron Esposito, a woman. Congratulations? Oh wait, I think what you're trying to do is make a safe space for women, and only feminist-friendly jokes are allowed there. As a woman, I know I'm valuable. Dare I say, just as valuable as a man. I am sorry, but I, I need to point this out. What is with the David Bowie haircut? And feminism is the social movement that agrees with me. So does egalitarianism. And humanism. And nudism. And anyone who advocates for equal rights. Here's my co-host, Rhea Butcher. Oh, hey Rhea. What's up? Feminism. That's the joke. Did I mention that this video is supposed to make you laugh? What's feminism? Feminism is the belief in the political, social, and economic equality of the sexes. Great! We're just repeating ourselves yet again. Okay, ladies, what do you have to bring on the plate this time? Wait a minute, do you mean like feminists believe that men and women are equal? Yes! What? <laughs> That's accurate. <laughs> No, it's not. Sometimes I feel like feminism gets a bad rap because people think that feminism is about women being better than men. Well, I already shown a couple of examples in many videos, but I think I'll just show a few. Get the fuck out of here! Fuck dipshit! Oh no, they read them up, then we just had them down. All right, we finally made it back here to the Vancouver Art Gallery after following around the slut walk. Our cameraman got shoved and pushed. Our, my sign was ripped up. You are attacking our cameraman. Over the 12 years that I was running the refuge, if I went to speak, there was screaming feminists outside. I tried to publish a book called Prone to Violence. We finally did get it published, but I had to have a police escort all around England, and there were death threats and bomb threats. I don't care if you landed a spacecraft on a comet. Your shirt is sexist and ostracizing. I, um, the shirt I wore this week, um, I made a big mistake, and I offended many people. And I'm very sorry about this. If uh, you're watching this video, then I pretty much, it's pretty much certain that the d conference in Detroit has been canceled. And I asked the police, I went down and said to the police, if that was black men or Jews, you'd arrest those women. But why don't you reckon that they just look very uncomfortable? And one of them said, we're frightened of them. To call a man an animal is to flatter him. He's a machine, a walking dildo. Rape is nothing more or less than a conscious process of intimidation by which all men keep all women in a state of fear. I feel that man-hating is an honorable and viable political act, that the oppressed have a right to class hatred against the class that is oppressing them. You see, there's plenty of examples of why feminists are disliked on the internet. Because people like these. And there are so many times where you can say, that's not all feminists, or not all feminists are like that. I'm not even scraping the ball in a barrel here. But in reality, feminism is just about equality. Look at all these equal signs. Equal signs, equal signs, equal signs. Men, women, equal men, women, equal men, women, equal. That's feminism. Laugh at me, I'm trying to be funny. Maria, are you a feminist? Yes, I am a feminist. I'm a feminist too. Did you have to say it in the most non-human way as possible? I'm a feminist too. I am a feminist as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Why are you a feminist? 
I mean, feminism is important to me personally because I was raised by a single mother and I saw her work really hard at a job and take care of a whole family by herself. But fuck the single men. What did you get from that that has to do with feminism? Well, I know that now there's like a huge wage gap. Which Don't get me started with this wage gap myth. You're not being paid less because you're a woman. Don't give me this shit. I already said that women have different choices in life, that they choose not to work as often as men, or the fact that women are more likely to take vacation days than men, or they are more likely to leave their jobs if they're pregnant. Do not make me explain this to you. Which is the percentage of money that men earn versus what women earn. So like, what does a woman earn to do the same job as a man? Typically, women make about 71% of what men make. But if you factor in race, the gap is even bigger. White women on average make 78% of what a white man makes. And a Latina woman on average makes 54% of what a white man makes. It's almost like things are stacked against women and we need like an overarching word that could help us to be treated equally. Asians who are just as much of a minority as you are the best paid demographic in America. And that's ignoring the fact that you're about 30 times richer than your ancestors who were not abducted by the slavers. That clip was from Thunderfoot's video on the Black Lives Matter uh, debacle. A minority is getting paid even more than white people. Now ask yourself this question. Is there some sort of conspiracy going on to put the black or women when... Uh, put black or women down when a minority is getting paid even more than the massive majority? Maybe you should look in deeper and try to understand why this is happening. Otherwise, just shut the fuck up. Wait a minute. I think I'm describing feminism. Holy fuck is this wrong! But are there any other ways in which women are, like, not equal to men right now in our world? Yeah, Cameron, did you know that only 20% of Congress is women? So as women, we live in a society that is mostly created by men? Yes. Because apparently it's much more important to have more women in Congress than to have people in general who know what the fuck they're doing. You people are fucking stupid. What the fuck? Where, where's the fucking comedy? It feels like I'm watching an episode of Sesame Street. That is the most accurate response any feminist will ever give if they were confronted with facts. So it's almost like, even if you don't realize that you're being affected by this, it affects everyone. Like, for instance, if you're a woman and you're a young woman, you don't have a job yet, maybe someday this will affect you the way that you're paid. Or, like, if you're a dude and you have a mom or a sister or you just live in the world and would like women to be treated equally, it's almost like they should care about that. But it doesn't affect me or anyone. It's just filling people with lies. But this is probably your response to that. So we've been working at this for a long time and we still have some work to do. Look at late night television. There are currently no female late night hosts. I think we have things to say and space in this world. And that's what this show is for. But I think there could be more shows like this. Plus, this show's only like five minutes long. So, out of all the issues that is happening within the world, you focus on the lack of diversity in certain fields and the so-called wage gap myth. Look, I'm not saying there should be no late night hosts starting women, but don't you think that maybe that some of these comedians might not want to be in a late night show? But then again, your response is something like this. Very short. I'm a feminist because I'm a stand-up comic. I work in a male-dominated field. And although I feel so much support and love for my fellow comics, I also know that sometimes I'm put in positions that they're not put in. So I believe that I am equal to my peers. And I also know that most of my male peers believe they are equal to me. Like, I know they respect me. And so it's just an institutional thing. It's something we need to talk about. We need to talk about how women are being treated. No, we don't. You're treated even better than men. Do I have to go back and show you all the examples I just dug up? When we walk down the street at night, we should feel safe. Are you implying that men never feel any danger at night? 
when we go into work in the morning, we should feel respected. Are you seeing that you're not being respected? We should be somebody's boss if we work hard enough and have the skills to be the boss. But are you even boss material? And those are the things I believe. And those things make me a feminist. Not only are women equal to men, but men are also equal to women. So you're going to point out some of the inequalities that men face? <laughs> Of course not, because you're too busy inflating your own goddamn ego. We absolutely believe that. And now, how about a final word? The great thing about feminism is that anyone can be a feminist. Unless you're a sister to white man, then you can just go straight to hell. Any race, any age, any sex or gender, and that includes you. Hey, thanks for watching She Said. You can follow me on Twitter at, at Cameron Esposito. And I'm at Rhea Butcher. Tweet at us. We'd love to hear from you. Well, since you want to hit the likes of me, I'll be sending my video to you girls, and hopefully you will address me. But I don't expect it because feminists have the tendency to pull stunts like blocking people on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, not to mention avoid any form of criticism and give us this kind of response. We really would. To watch more, click here. And to subscribe, click here. Hey, that's a smart girl's Twitter handle. What are the odds? That's the joke.